Would a government salary be enough for you? Enough to buy a car, a house, to live your life? One of the top arguments against getting a government job is the salaries are too low. They do not pay enough. And some of the leadership in government know it. An IRS chief recently claimed that people will make the financial sacrifice to work for his agency. If you don't know it, there was a hiring ramp when it comes to the IRS. Last year, they were focused on call centers, customer service representatives. Next year is more about the tax expert. These are sometimes lawyers, lawyers who work at big law firms. One of the largest law firms in the country is McKinsey which are starting some of their associates at $215,000 a year. Your typical government employee isn't making $200,000 a year. If you look at the average salary of let's say a GS-12, which is a common grade in the government, it's around $106,000 a year. Even at the GS-15 level, which is the highest, you are still not touching that 200K a year mark. So the main incentive isn't money. So why is it that sometimes these lawyers come into the public sector? What's bringing them in? The reason given by some is that late career people want to give back in the final years of their working lives, which I think is partially true, but there's also underlying reasons, more selfish reasons why a person might want to get into the government. Work-life balance is a big one. Job security, maybe even getting a pension at an advanced age as they get older. But what about your average American thinking about getting a government job? First, let's look at the Washington DC area. If you wanted to buy a house, let's say within 30 minutes of driving into Washington DC, how much would that cost you? The cheapest single family house I could find is this one here for $464,000 in Maryland. This house is a thousand square feet, so it's not that big. If you come from the Midwest, if you're coming from Texas, this is not a big house and it's in Maryland. If you wanted to live on the Virginia side, houses tend to be a little bit more expensive over there. But how much would you need to earn? How much money would it take in order to get this house? You would need a $111,000 down payment, and then your monthly payment would be $3,100 a month. When it comes to a house payment or a mortgage payment, most experts agree that your mortgage should not exceed 30% of your gross salary. So what salary would you need to be earning? What GS grade do you need to be to afford something like this? The salary would need to be at least $124,000 a year, which is the equivalent of a GS 13 step five in Washington, DC. But I don't think that would be enough because what we're not taking into consideration is the FERS deduction. There's a 4.4% FERS deduction coming out of your paycheck. So we need to add that amount to 124,000 which would be $130,000, and that is closer to being a GS-14 in DC. Also keep in mind, this is one of the cheapest properties I was able to find. And if you needed more than a thousand square feet, say you have a bigger family, whatever the case is, you would have to drive further away from the city, 45 minutes away, an hour or more away in order to be able to afford more house. Now let's look at a person in the DC area that works in the private sector. Let's take Amazon, for example, because Amazon just launched their second headquarters in Arlington. For Amazon employees, we can see here that a software development manager can make between 200 dollars and $300,000 a year. A product manager can make up to $230,000 a year. This exceeds government salaries in this area. And we're not even talking about equity or stock options or anything like that. Any other type of benefits Amazon would put on top of their benefit package. So you can make a case to say that federal employees in DC at times could be making a financial sacrifice, depending on what their experience and skills are, All right? Clearly they're not the highest paid in DC, but this is in a major city. If you look out towards the rural areas or smaller towns, usually a government salary is gonna win out. In fact, if you were to look at the average salary of private sector versus government jobs, you can see when comparing the averages, the government pays more. When I assist people in getting into the government, one of the first questions I ask them is what are your salary expectations? How much are you earning now? How much do you need to earn in order to keep the same standard of living? Because I don't believe you need to take a pay cut. 
And one of the fallacies and misconceptions with a government job is you have to take a lower GS grade just to get your foot into the door. The foot into what door? The door of poverty? You don't need to take a GS5. You do not need to take a GS6. You can, that's always an option for you, but it's not a necessity. If you have the required experience and it's relevant, you can aim for higher GS grades. But every time I go on to Reddit or Facebook or look online, I see somebody saying, just take a lower GS grade, that'll solve all your problems. As if there aren't a hundred people or more applying to GS5s. There's other people following that same advice and it's useless. You are going to be leaving tens of thousands of dollars on the table if you follow that advice. So why do people keep saying it? Well, I think it's because other people have sacrificed and they have taken lower GS grades and now they're GS 13s and GS 14s. So they're giving that same advice to everyone else because they feel like everyone else should have to start at the bottom. Well, if you have 10, 15 years of experience, you don't have any business starting at the bottom. To answer the initial question, yes, you can buy a car, a house, you can live a fulfilling life with a government job, with a government salary, and you can do it while enjoying work-life balance and job security. If you are still looking for a federal government job, but you need a higher salary, $70,000 a year is not gonna cut it for you. You're looking for something around 150, 160, maybe $170,000 a year. If you wanna know what jobs are hiring at a higher GS grade that are offering higher salaries, if you're interested in that, I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.